hello friends welcome to learning earning today you are going to learn the basic electrical technology and uh, the different methods to generate power and the applications the power generation see the applications of uh, electrical technology are innumerable as every one of you know we use it for home appliances we use it for driving the loads we use it for electrical vehicles and whatnot so today the motivation is given every one of you know without the motivation you won't see this video assuming that I'm going directly to the power generation and applications first of all how is power generated well there are many ways for generating power the first way is through the fossil fuels where we use coal in India 75% of the power is generated through coal and I don't think that's the same in US because US actually has a lot of uh, hydroelectric uh, power generating capacity yeah in India we use coal for generating 75% of electricity well we do have hydroelectric power generations and uh, the reason is pretty simple fossil fuels the coal exist only till 50 or max 70 years and uh, the petroleum which we rely upon is for 100 years mostly yeah whereas the natural gas which we even use for generating and for a few apply applications is for 150 years at most so we have to find different ways to generate power through non-conventional sources or the renewable sources so let's see what are all the applications and the different techniques and uh, generating power first of all we go through the hydroelectric power generation in a hydroelectric power plant you actually find a Ford bay or a reservoir which is connected through a pen start to a powerhouse in which we find a series of impulse or um, reaction turbines which are indeed connected to a generator it might be an induction generator or it might be a DC generator it may be an alternator and which in turn is connected to a load or it may be connected to a power grid from which the power is distributed to different places so this is how a, a hydroelectric power plant works and our area of interest is here right here my friends where the prime mover drives the generator how the generator produces power and how it is distributed to various applications well the next application is I mean the next way of producing power is through windmills in windmills particularly you find uh, blades uh, which are connected to a gearbox so that it can relay the speeds of the blades which is connected to the DC generator and the voltage or the power is fed into a power grid or to the loads in a windmill you find a generator from where it is converted connected to a rectifier or an inverter so that we get a DC or AC output and we can actually feed this power into power grids so in windmills what do we have what what should we feed what should be the fuel well my friends windmills use air the kinetic energy drives the blades in which the blades drive the shaft and the shaft the shaft which is connected to the gear indeed coupled to a DC generator and DC generator generates the required amount of power and it drives the loads that's how windmills work and uh, yeah the photovoltaic cells or um, the solar panels which actually uses the concept of photoelectric effect uh, which was like discovered by uh, Einstein who got a Nobel Prize for that well what is a photovoltaic cell well photovoltaic cell has a p-type material and an n-type material which is mounted on that and uh, it is covered by metallic glasses which is enclosed by a glass sheet when the light rays from the Sun fall over this glass sheet the electrons in the outermost band jumps into the conduction band which in turn is connected to the external wires and the power output is taken well this is the application of photovoltaic cell this is how the power is generated through the photovoltaic cell 
well what are the applications the applications of photovoltaic cell are huge first of all it is used in solar challenger solar challenger is a plane on which the solar panels are mounted over the wings which uh, delivers a required amount of power to the plane to move well it is used for desalination in mid east countries namely dubai or whatever we do find uh, many of desalinization plants where the sea water is fed into the plants con is converted into salt and acyl and fresh water where they use fresh water for drinking we do use it for uh, many home appliances like mixers grinders refrigerators the photovoltaic cells are extensively used in this game in these kind of applications and uh, moreover uh, we do find photovoltaic pumps where uh, the water is uh, carried from the sump to the overhead tank through the photovoltaic pumps and uh, basically photovoltaic cells are even used in um, electric vehicles the applications are huge so these are few ways of uh, generating power and in the next class i'm going to give you the contents how the lecture goes and what are all the basic techniques which we have to follow while uh, uh, dealing with electrical concepts and uh, we are going to deal mainly upon the machines in the time domain and frequency domain calculations and what are uh, uh, basic concepts like resistors, the inductors, the capacitors, everything. Everything of machines, everything of electrical technology is being discussed over here my friends. This is the first video and the series of videos will be of much interest. Hope you enjoyed this and you are going to get the contents in the next class. Thank you.